Stay in pads, uh, uppers. You know, first day was able to go out there and get a little bit physical with each other. A uh, couple of good things, a couple of bad things on defensively. Uh, we got to improve. That's the biggest thing about it. We got to continue to improve. We're not where we want to be at in no way and imagine what we're trying to get done. Uh, we got to continue to chase the football hard. I mean, really, really hard. Because if we chase the football hard, we'll make a lot of plays. And we got to be physical. And the only way we're going to be physical, we got to continue to play smart. We got to be able to play fast. We got to be mentally tough. And we got to finish. Those are things we got to do on defense. And we got to continue to grow on those things and keep building. Um, we got a long ways to go. And we got to continue to get better. You have several linebackers experiencing college field for the first time. How have they handled it through three, three days? You know what? Typical freshmen, they're going to make their mistakes. They're going to do some good things and they're going to do some bad things. But it, like the one thing, though, if they continue to grow, we'll be better. And um, it's my job and everybody else's job just continue to get those guys to learn and continue to grow. And uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep pressing them. We can't keep treating them like they've already been here. Can't treat them like they're freshmen. You can't baby them. But you got to make sure you uh, continue to force force it down their throats and continue to learn it. The guys who uh, didn't have the advantage of being here in the spring, can they catch up during the season or is it hard to catch up with you? No, it's not hard, you know, because in the summertime with the new rules, guys have an opportunity to, uh, you know, do some things in meeting rooms and also individual things. And uh, we install and do some things in, in the summertime that they can catch up. But like anything, it's repetition. You got to continue to, to rep them, rep them, rep them. It's like, you know, when we first learned our arithmetic. I mean, how long it took everybody to know what three times three was? It took us a while. So the more those guys continue to learn and continue to do the same things by rep, it'll be muscle memory, and then it'll be memory on what they can do. Do you think Justin uh, gained some valuable experience being in Northwestern? I, I don't know what he did at Northwestern. I really don't. I just remember about what he did in high school when we were recruiting. Oh, we're happy to have him. We're happy to have him. Uh, his first couple of days here, he's been tremendous. He's improved it each day, and he's going to continue to prove. All right? He's a young man that wants it. He understands what work is, and he understands what our, what our standards are. And uh, we just got to continue to feed him and see where he goes from there. For a guy like Brian Courtney, who made the transition from tight end to linebacker, how has he handled that? What kind of math or skill he brings? You, you got to treat Brian like he's a true freshman. He didn't go through spring football, so he came on defense in the summertime. So you got to treat him like a true freshman. He does some good things and does some bad things, but continue to grow him and continue to force things down him and let him learn. Gary Burks, I mean, we're never surprised by what Gary does anymore, but, but he's so disruptive out there. What, what kind of uh, I mean, impact does he have on the whole team? Well, you know what? Jared is, is, is a very play with emotional guy, but he's a calm emotional guy. You know, sometimes guys play with a lot of emotion and it gets away from the game. Jared plays the game within himself and plays the game within the scheme and within the team. And that brings a lot of energy and things like that. And that's what his game is. He's a lot of energetic guy that I've been around a lot of guys like that that make a lot of plays and continue to grow that way. Kind of hungry to see out of Kalen and Tatum. They've been doing this forever, but how excited are they to be out here every single day to see him? Well, it's been good. You know, I'm playing them at different positions now so they can learn different things. You know, you never want them to get bored. And uh, we're going to continue to move those guys around so they can get bored and continue to grow their mind mentally and understand what we're trying to get done on the total defense. Feel good? I'm done. Right, Boy, y'all easy.